So uh, we are here at the new uh, skate park and we used the overcast day today because we know we knew there are not going to be lots of people so we used the day to show off the various bodies that fit on our mini modular car. Basically the mini modular car that we can you can buy at our website it is powered by a Buvis 3.0 it uses one motor, one Buvis motor for driving and one powered up uh, L motor for steering. And because this is a modular car, it was about time we made our own bodies for it. So the first body you see here in uh, lime and in orange, it is uh, inspired by Rimac Nevera. So in this case, we have a nice sporty model with larger rear wheels because it's so light we can use the larger rear wheels to give it a higher top speed and it is a very detailed body so we have a diffuser in the back spoiler we have uh, mirrors we also have a front uh, bumper which is a separate piece and i'm using the flexible piece here as a bumper so if you hit something there is nothing to break and we also have the vents here in the front and overall, it is a very nice and detailed model, uh, or should I say body. And I also use this kind of a tapered uh, tiles here to slowly change the color between black and lime in this case. And I'm using some teeth as the front lights. And the second idea we had is, well, I think everyone knows what this is inspired by. Basically the Cybertruck. And for this one, the body is also in several parts. We have the main body, which is designed to be very angular, not just looking from the, uh, from the side profile, but also looking from the front, you can see how the triangle shape slopes inside a bit. Uh, also a LED bar in the back, represented by red bricks. So now we're gonna turn our uh, quasi Cybertruck into the quasi Nevera. So we remove one pin here we remove these two pins here now oh, they are not exhaust and now we just simply take the whole body off so that's the whole body and of course we can also take the side steps off off because nevera is lighter we can use bigger wheels in the back which will give it a higher top speed and finally, we're going to put the bushes back on. They help basically hold the wheels onto the chassis. And now the Nevera's body is built in two modules. First we have the main body here. So we clip it up here and lock it. This pin on the roof. And the front bumper is a separate piece, it goes here. And it's nice and flexible here. So even if you crash it, there shouldn't be much damage. And as you've seen in the footage, no matter which body we use, the little modular, uh, mini modular chassis has more than enough power to jump and skid and spin and do all kinds of tricks. So. I think that uh, overall this is a really universal and robust uh, chassis and basically these are just a few ideas that I came up with and anyone uh, who has any other ideas they can of course build their own. So basically if you like all the, the effort and all the bodies that uh, I put into the modular car and if you like how basically robust and tough and just fun this thing is to drive and if you want to see more fun stuff like this then as usual please like subscribe and hit the notification bell thank you